In the three years since retiring from the NBA, Kobe Bryant has not slowed down. He's a New York Times bestselling author, Oscar winner, and book publisher. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Dana Jacobson chatted with the 18-time All-Star about his passions and building Granity Studios. Is this something as a kid you thought about that you would want to have? Definitely not. You know, as a kid, the main focus was just playing the game. And like my last year, and people asked me what I was going to do, and I'd say I'd go into storytelling. They were like, all right, well, like, what do you mean? That's not, real. That's not a real job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that yeah. sort of stuff, you know? You can catch the rest of that story tomorrow on CBS This Morning Saturday. Well, earlier this week, I spoke with Dana Jacobson to discuss what it takes to go from NBA legend to storyteller. It's crazy. I mean, Kobe Bryant, one of the best to ever play the game of basketball. You'd think when you're done, you just go settle off into retirement and right. not worry. But it turns out this is a passion, storytelling he's had since high school. Wow. A high school teacher sort of sparked this in him. And, you know, I joked with him about this idea of you just go out and win an Oscar, like on one of your first projects. But he talked a lot about how he had worked on his writing throughout the NBA, he would be sitting on a bus and writing. He would take his ad campaigns and he would look at the writing on that and work on it. He even had a tagline that he came up with for one of his Nike ads and was really proud of that. So storytelling has always been something that has been within him. This has just given him the time now to actually focus on that storytelling with his studio, which does podcasts and books, the short film, right. and so much more in the future, he hopes. So, you know, it's interesting, post-NBA, uh, I mean, or post any kind of professional sports, uh, a lot of athletes do what you say, which is, you know, they take it easy, uh, yeah. they play a lot of golf. Um, but there have been some, like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, or, you know, Magic Johnson, NBA players, Jim Brown, uh, who, you know, Sh Shaq, yeah. who've gone on to do really kind of incredible things to the point where a lot of young people might not even know that Kareem played in the NBA. Yeah, you know? well, I, I mean, actually just did a podcast, taped a podcast with Jerry Rice yesterday. Oh, no way. Yeah, he's and, another one. And the funny thing with Jerry Rice, I remember when he did Dancing with the Stars, people <laughs> said to him, they would come up to him, they didn't know him as an NFL right. player. That's so funny. They <laughs> knew him from Dancing with the Stars, a little bit different, but to your your point this second career that so many of these athletes have is just a way to reach people that are a different audience I right. guess basically and, and for Kobe you think about it the longer he's out of the game the more there will be that disconnect of who he was as a player and we do talk about that with him and, and his I don't want to give away his take on it but this idea that one day he may not be known for basketball, what would he want to be known oh, for? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and, and I say that, again, when you look at the greatest list, he'll always be on there, but you don't know the present. I don't think my stepson really knows Kobe Bryant as a player. He knows the LeBrons and all the current sure. players. And Kobe's only been retired for three years. Right. But this idea that the longer you're away from it, what else can your imprint be? How can you use the voice that you have, certainly the platform that you still have, to do something else that you're passionate about and that you love. And this is the idea athletes aren't one dimensional. Yeah. They're multi dimensional people. And for a lot of them, like Kobe, this is this other side of him that he just loves so much and now has the ability to use that love and that passion and share it with others. Uh, the, and the, 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 this entity that he's creating. Yeah, is it Granity more, Studios. Yeah, Granity. Is it just books? No, or? It's, so it's a lot more. So he won the Oscar a couple years ago for a short film that he did, Dear Basketball. We'll talk about that in the piece. And that was under this Granity Studios umbrella. Uh, he also has the books. Right now there are three books that are out in this young adult sports fantasy sphere. Um, he is the voice behind them and uses writers to help develop them further. They have a podcast called The Punies, which again, it's all sports and entertainment teaching lessons to children. Uh, one moment we were sort of joking about it that this was really his vehicle as a parent to talk to his kids because they don't listen to him anymore. <laughs> That's really and funny. so here, I'll create a book and my yeah. kids will read it Employ and then they'll get the lesson. And then right. the kids will listen. <laughs> but he's helping his kids, he's also helping other kids as well. So it, there's so much under the Granity umbrella. Um, he's hoping to keep developing that and to keep developing this studio so that they can do other projects as well. Really, really cool. Can't wait to see the piece. Dana, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. You can watch more of Dana's interview with Kobe Bryant on CBS This Morning Saturday. It streams at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Eastern right here on CBSN.